Cynicism in the face of love, I'm insecure. Stigmatism in the chase for worth, I needed more. Left, right, brain, attitude, memories on the floor. Cause we all made it for the clear cutting. Red tape in the medical guards put out for lens. This passion to cover my flaws and pass the rest. And we strike gold in mysterious ways. Sometimes we all gotta be. What's your name? My name is William Lasseter, Will for short. How old are you? I am 22 years old. William, how many times have you been in love? Ooh, twice. Okay. And how many times have you been heartbroken? Once. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is William, William Lasseter. Okay, how old are you, William? Right now, I'm 24. I'll be 25 in March. It's like six months away. That's nice, man. That's nice. Yeah, bro. You in school? You finished school? Graduate of Campbell University. I work at Duke University right now, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good, bro. That's nice, man. That's nice. That's actually really nice. So, why are we here? Like, um, we here to talk about me. Like, this thing right here is gonna uh, get stupid crazy. Like, the next like 10, 15 minutes, you gonna be like, what? Really? Yeah, bro. What about you? It's like the three ass girlfriends I've had and their impact on me and the music I choose to listen to. So, that's pretty crazy. Tell me about the three girls, the three faces. Right. What are they? Um, I'm not going to use no names, but I, I'm going to say one's name is anger, one's name is growth, and the last one's name is self-love. Anger, that was my, uh, that's my high school sweetheart. Like, we met when I was a senior. I think we knew her a year or two before she was behind me. So I think I met her senior year. Crazy thing is, bro, when I met her, she had a boyfriend. So that's actually, like, that's the, how you meet them is how they end, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, that's facts. That's, you know, that's it. Um, she had a boyfriend. We, we, we played football. We were teammates. She was a cheerleader. So then I ended up, like, I guess I took this girl. I guess you could say I took this girl. I definitely took this girl. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that was that. I like, I, I basically love at first sight, really. I was like, dang, I was like, you was the wrong dude, all that. What um, did you like about her? What I liked about her? What she you... was my, first it was her body, because her body's crazy. Like, to be in high school, we like this? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, once in the night, it's not rare. Especially facts. At that time, yeah, it's just chilly. So I said, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, so then I started like this easy conversation. Hey, how you doing? Blase blase. Crazy thing is, me and Buddy was cool. We was like best friends. Like, well, not best friends. But he's one of my closest friends. But I, he would never know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. And once they broke up, they, they, he cheated on me. She was single now. That was, my, that was my way. That was my way in. I just had to be there for a little bit. Then I made that transition from friend to best friend to now we talking to boom, boom, boom. Nice, nice. So, like, what did you like about her? Uh, she was too friendly. Way, way too friendly. Like, if I'm like, she's your girl, cut me off. Right. So, even if you like, especially since we teammates or whatever. Saying so, that's about it. Other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She was too friendly, and it, she was too friendly to the point where, like, it like, reflected you, like everything. Damn, yeah, like, dang, you know, what's her name talking about? Yeah, start hearing the rumors. Yeah, and, see, I heard she was like, with him and them. I said, dang, they do that in third period. Yeah, crazy, bro. Like, wow, yeah, some wild stuff. I completely feel that. So, like, how long did y'all date? Um, I think we was together for like. We probably dated a year, but we probably talked in like eight months. So after a year and eight months after that altogether, close to the two. So what point in that relationship where things went wrong? Went wrong? Uh, she cheated. <laughs> she cheated multiple times. 
I forgave him for like the first two times. The third time was like, like really like angry. I was so upset, bro. I remember like yesterday. So I came home from college one weekend. I was on, I surprised him. So I came home that Friday. I went to go to the game, football game. She came over to the crib afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Had a good time, good night. So I said, well, the next day, Saturday, I was gonna take her out or whatever. But then she won't hit, she won't respond to none of my messages after like three o'clock. I don't know if it's real time, I'm just gonna go sit up. So then I was like, dang, where you at, where you at? I was gonna take her out to the mall or something, something like that. So then I call her, straight to voicemail. I call like five times, straight to voicemail, FaceTime. So then I get this message from her phone saying, this is her dude. She good. Stop, stop, stop texting her. I said, I said, I call, I called back. I said, word. I said, I said, who is this? It said, this is. It said, don't worry about who it is. I said, oh, okay. I said, where you at? He said, you gonna pull up? I said, yeah, I'm about to pull up. That's how I'm gonna pull up. I mean, we gonna, we gonna have a talk. I think it's Queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, so he ain't never. Then they stopped. They stopped contacting me. I said, all right. Man. So then maybe like I, I had to vent to somebody. Then look. Yeah, what you do, find somebody to talk to you about to do something stupid. <laughs> Jordan was gonna be stupid. I probably wouldn't end up going to jail. <laughs> yeah. I like, no, no, like, bro, it's hard to make me mad. So, for like, like when I'm mad, I'm like a bull, yeah. like, like a rabbit pit bull or something like that, bro. It's, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, and she ended up trying to call me afterwards. I said, yo, she said, what you doing? I said, I said, why? I said, why are you talking to me? You got a boyfriend. Mm. So then she's like, you my boyfriend. I said, oh, okay. I said, that's really interesting. Because your boy just said, he said, I don't know what he was talking about. I said, who was he? He said, I can't tell you that. I said, that. So then I said, he, he said, so I said, so what you been doing? She said, chilling. I said, okay. I said, that's cute too. So then after that, I said, I said, yeah, we done. She said, why? I said, because you were chill. And this is the third time. So you three strikes out. Right. And then I said, once I hang up this phone, you blocked on everything. So I hung up the phone. That was the end of that. Sure. So I probably forgave her maybe like a year and a half later. Like as in like recently, a year and a half later. Mm-hmm. That's like twenty. What year? Like twenty nineteen. I probably forgave her finally in like twenty sixteen or fifteen. Yeah. Well, so yeah, bro. Yeah. So based off like this experience, man, like <clears throat> what did you learn from it? Um. Don't mess with other dudes and girls, man. That's 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 what happened to me. That was pure karma. Right. And I, I definitely learned my lesson. Yeah. But that definitely triggered me into having like a savage mode, hot boy lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that went on. So that triggered that, bro. But yes, nice, nice. Yeah, bro. Have you talked to them recently? Or uh, I reached out to her, just told her I forgive her and stuff. That 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 that, had, that was sitting on my heart. Right, you know, trying to be a better, trying to right all my wrongs right now. So she's doing good. She's doing good. She's doing real good. Real good. She about to graduate from a, a prestigious. What a woo! I'm not gonna say the school she at. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she's about to graduate. That's it. So basically, all this stuff that you learned and experienced and all this other stuff, would you do it again? No. <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> I'm not. I, Cause I mean, she might be doing good right now, but that that mentality is still the same. Yeah. Like if you can't, like she's hanging around, like she's in the wrong crowd right now. Word. Yeah. Like they partying, doing all this, blah blah blah, they leave the stuff. So I'm not. I'm not a saint. I do stuff too, but I'm not. Like if I can't, if these people are constantly asking me to go out and stuff, I don't want to be around you. Like you should get like you 20 something years old. Like you need to learn when to say no. No is the strongest answer you can tell anybody, right? No matter what. So that right there in itself is crazy to me. So nah, I would never get that with her. No, no. So because of like all of this, and since this girl is named as anger, do you still feel anger or triggered or any type of way? No, not at all. What happened? No, no. That 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 word anger describes how I was feeling from point A to point B. Now I'm at like point H Q R. So I'm good. Like I'm in my peace. With that girl, I'm at peace. 